In downhole completions, a string of sucker rods transmits power from the surface to the bottom of the hole. Occasionally, this string needs to be broken for equipment maintenance, workovers, or other reasons. A shear coupling facilitates this work by replacing a standard sucker rod coupling between two sucker rods, seamlessly transmitting tension, torsion, and bending between them, while separating the rods at a specific tensile load. A shear coupling consists of a spud mating to a spud receiver and held together by structural elements, commonly pins. These pins disengage at a specified force, allowing the spud and spud receiver to come apart. As the tension load across the spud and spud receiver increases, the force manifests as a shear force in the pins, hence the name shear coupling. The pins support this shear force only up to a point, known as the activation load. Beyond this activation load, the shear force slices the pins apart, allowing the coupling to separate. As an example, consider a rod pump completion that has a shear coupling with 40,000 pound force activation load installed one sucker rod length above the pump. In normal operation, the weight of the equipment below the coupling and fluid column above the pump is well below the activation load of the shear coupling, and it acts as a normal rod coupling. However, an equipment failure below the shear coupling requires parting the sucker rod string as part of the workover. From the surface, the operator applies a tensile load in excess of 40,000 pounds force to the rod string, activating the shear coupling and parting the rod string. The portion of the rod string trips easily to the surface, and the workover can continue. Shear coupling design is challenging. At its essence, the shear coupling is a part designed to fail but operates where failures are expensive. The most common operator complaint about shear couplings is that they come apart when they shouldn't. This has two causes. The first being an unexpected tensile load across the coupling, which has unintentionally activated it, or a material failure of the spud or spud receiver due to fatigue. The former is easily addressed by selecting an activation well above any expected tensile loads in the well. The latter is more challenging to address. Fatigue is a weakening of materials due to accumulation of microscopic damage due to cyclical or repeated loading. Fatigue is sensitive to part geometry and tends to occur in areas where part geometry changes. These geometrical changes impart a stress riser, a factor by which the strength of the part is decreased in that area. There are four main areas of concern where geometry increases fatigue potential. The diameter transition from the coupling body to the start of the polygon key. The transition from the polygon key to the spud. The through hole to accommodate the shear pins. And finally, the midplane of the shear pin subjected to non-reversible bending. Through extensive engineering and testing, and backed by thousands of failure-free installations, Hawkeye introduces the patented Conelock XF Shear Coupling. The Conelock XF is a quantum leap forward in increasing mean time between failures in challenging completions. The Conelock coupling addresses all the areas of concern identified in normal shear coupling, resulting in lower operating costs, improved uptime, and peace of mind to operators and bean counters alike. Let's take a look at the differences between a Conelock shear coupling and a normal or legacy shear coupling. The Conelock XF is on the left, and the legacy shear coupling, similar to current competitor and previous Hawkeye designs, is on the right. The Conelock addresses the first two areas of concern by deleting the polygon key, and instead having a single smooth transition from the body of the Conelock to the spud. The smooth transition from coupling body to spud greatly decreases fatigue effects in the first area of concern, and deletes the second area of concern entirely. The interface fit on the cone lock supports torsional loading over the entire surface of the connection, not just the corners as compared to the legacy shear coupling. This provides the cone lock XF a one and a half times greater torque rating than a legacy style shear coupling. The increased diameter on the cone lock spud increases the bulk strength of the coupling and improves overall fatigue resistance. The large diameter spud is two times stronger than legacy coupling spuds in tension and over two and a half times stronger in bending. 
By using blind holes for shear pins instead of through holes, the Conelock XF shear coupling maintains greater cross-sectional area in the spud over the legacy shear coupling, resulting in improved fatigue strength and bulk strength. Coupled with these shorter blind holes, Shorter shear pins on the cone lock reduce fatigue effects associated with through holes in two ways. In addition to leaving more material in the spud for improved bulk spud strength, the shorter shear pins delete the fourth area of concern identified in a legacy coupling by removing the portion of the pin exposed to damaging non-reversible bending. This greatly improves the fatigue strength of the pin, preventing it from fracturing unexpectedly, causing a premature or unintended activation. Since 2016, thousands of cone lock shear couplings have entered service with zero reported failures, saving operators hundreds of thousands of dollars in costly and unexpected workovers. Every day, more operators elect to install the cone lock coupling to save money and for the peace of mind that comes with unparalleled reliability. Do not let your competitors leave you behind. Contact Hawkeye Industries today to get more information on saving time and money by using the Conelock XF shear coupling.